Okay, so I think it's time to resume the uh, security session, our security session. So I'd like to introduce fourth speaker, uh, Mr. Lennon Chan. Hi, can you hear me? Yes, so, I can. Okay, I can hear you. So please share your presentation and uh, please go ahead when ready. All right, I think it should be on your screen by now. Yes, I can see your presentation. Okay, great, thanks. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. Thanks for having me again at the append um, conference and great to have the opportunity to meet old friends and new friends here via Zoom. Hopefully we'll be able to see each other very soon in the real life. Uh, before I start, I would like to acknowledge the traditional owner of the land where I look on from and pay respect to the elders past, present, and emerging. Um, again, thank you all for giving me the opportunity today. I'm Lennon Chang. I'm a criminologist and regulatory scientist working on issues relating to technology, crime, and security, especially on the governance of cyberspace. So today I'm going to share with you an applied research that I did on cyber capacity building and cybersecurity awareness raising in the Asia Pacific region. Um, if you're interested to know more about this project, uh, it actually has been published uh, as an uh, academic journal, uh, journal article in 2020 on computers and, uh, computers and security. Um, you'll be able to download the paper there. And if you, I know that some of the papers got paywalls. If you um, if the difficulties um, getting the paper and you want to read it, let me know. I'll be able to send you a copy. So I think um, it's a good arrangement uh, to to talk after Aries as he, his, his work is pretty much related to mine, but mine is very much into uh, the context of Myanmar. And while Aries was talking about the importance of having a password or like Jamie was uh, mentioning about uh, the importance of having a more uh, sophisticated password. What I see in Myanmar is that the people there don't even know what is password. So I'll go into that and, and uh, articulate some of this bit to really, uh, I really want to encourage everyone of us here to think, to rethink why we're having all these kind of cybersecurity building, cyber capacity buildings. Do we really know what is needed in the country? Do we, are we, are we, just giving something that we think is important or are we really feeding them or helping them in terms of the, uh, uh, by understanding what, what is uh, needed on the ground. So this presentation uh, will provide a detailed account of the implementation of a donor funded, that is Australian government, cybersecurity awareness campaign. Drawing on recent experience in Myanmar, this paper evaluates the rationale for uh, development assistance being directed at cybersecurity and identifies various challenges to manage an effective program as well as seven lessons learned. Um, led by Aung San Suu Kyi, and she was the she, the
Oh, is he disconnected? Yes, I do. Are you okay? Uh, you are mic is muted, I think. And also. Yep, sorry. Um I, I, I saw I dropped out. So um I'm changing to to another um internet and see if that gets better. Okay, thank you. Is it seems he's frozen. We are still waiting, Dr. Chan, to recover his internet connection, I think. Yes, yes. Please, please wait for a moment. I don't know what is happening here. No issue, no issue, please. I think, yeah. The, the, the network is not work. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's a problem. Shaki, if uh, internet, uh, we can wait for one, two minutes. Otherwise, uh, we can invite uh, Milan, uh, you know, uh, for the next presentations. Uh, yes, but, uh, we can wait for one, two minutes. Yeah. And if he didn't return, I will uh, yes. invite. Uh, so please oh, oh. wait. Yes.
Uh, okay. Uh, unfortunately, Dr. Denon Chan didn't return. So, uh, Mr. Milan Raj Nepali, can you present your presentation now? Mr. Nepali. Not ready yet. <laughs> Milan, are you uh, ready? Uh, if you are ready, then uh, we can start your presentation. Milan, we are audible. Okay, seems disconnected. Ah, uh, reconnected now. Uh. Milan, uh, we are audible. You, you please unmute. Uh, yeah. uh. You are not audible, Milan. <laughs> Sorry, we cannot hear your voice, Mr. Miller. Maybe Michael is not working. Yes. Milan, you, you are not audible. Please check your uh, mic, please. Milan, you can use your uh, system mic. He's reconnecting, I think. Okay. Hello? Yes, yes. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, good. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Uh, this is Milan Raj Nepali. Uh, I'm the Vice President at Center for Cybersecurity Research and Innovation uh, from Nepal. And I'm going to present a presentation named uh, National Strategy for Cybersecurity in the Digital Age. Uh, could, could you please share your uh, screen? Okay, sure, sure. Yeah. Yeah, it's a national strategy for cybersecurity in the digital age. And I'm going to uh, explain the background, information security, paradigm shift, diagnosis, direction, vision and goal, key tasks, expected outcomes. So about the background, actually, the national strategy for the cybersecurity is to lead the world in cybersecurity. It's it's actually the formulated national strategy to become a world most secure and relevant country in cybersecurity in provision for the digital economy, driven by the contactless and digital transformation. Yes, 
actually it is important because as we know that we have faced the COVID pandemic and the recent, uh, recent year, like 2020, 2019, 20, the beginning of 2019 and to the end of the 2022, we have faced uh, lots of pandemic. On that, we use lots of virtual, uh, virtual medium like uh, this kind of Zoom or, or anything and many kind of digital technology, digital economy, something. So for that, there, there is lots of hacking and there's lots of cyber crime. So to accelerate the digital transformation, we need national strategy. To make an information security paradigm shift, we need a cyber security, national strategy for cyber security. And for a digital safety, we need a national strategy for every country. Of For the acceleration of digital transformation, there's expansion of food industry, revolution, rise of contactless economy. And as I have already told that there's a COVID-19 that we have faced. And another information security is threats can occur to anyone, anytime, anywhere. The PC network center export response heart is limits. And another one is digital safety net. Digital safety net is necessary. Digital safety net in the digital economy era, matter of survival beyond securing competitiveness. And another one is digital economy calls for a fundamental change in information security paradigm. For example, the spread of the contactless digital, as, we, as I have told that social distancing due to COVID-19. So for that accelerates the digital transformation, cyber, cyber threats can occur to anyone, anywhere, anytime that I've told already. So more threat to asset outside the security zone and point quantitative increase in the scope of security management. That means that spread of contactless digital. And another one is that new environment, new security threats. And we have to increase need for the security. And there are lots of uh, various complex and unprecedented cyber threat arise. And cyber attacks become more soft, softer and sophisticated through the spread of intelligence technology. And another one is the scope of information security broadened. As we, we know that information security market expand across all the industry sector in every aspect of daily life, the information security is embedded. Another one, domestic overseer, such security firms focus on adapting to the digital transformation. Another major country formulate national strategy to foster information security industry. That means that we need, we have a lots of, uh, lots of information, a lots of digital, uh, uh, lots of digital data. So for all these, information security, we need to make a national strategy for a secure nation's defense and for a secure country. Another one, we have to diagnose and direction. Like we purpose a new paradigm in a sec cyber security for a digital economy era, which include the contactless digital transformation. That means that all the areas are, uh, there are like critical national infrastructure. All the areas are in a, a very critical station, uh, situation, but the financial sector are more, more vulnerable. The cyber threats, as I have told, cyber threats can occur anytime, anywhere, uh, any, to anyone. For the strategy, we have to elevate the response system capacity building of private sector. And the content may be the expand of more rigorous elevated response system. We have to make a system enhance customized security of private sector. That means individual business, everything. We, we have to make a strategy. We have to make a strategy for the security capacity and conference security response and new trends like establish a primitive response system for a stronger conference security of prepare for new threats such as contactless on manned services, 
secure core technical capacity in cyber security, such as artificial intelligence and security. And there's lots of technology is emerging like a metaverse, a NFT, a blockchain, crypto, uh, everything's near the security. So for that, we need a strategy. And another one is lay the groundwork for information security industry. For example, foster exemplary of security companies and talent in digital economy. We have to really contact this online learning platform, reform legislation and information security in a digital environment. That means that is we know that IT technology has been very advanced with a with a meaning of time, with a meaning of time, the technology is updated. The IT is a feature. And we have a lots of lots of new technology growing. And besides that, there is there is also security concern related. So for all that, we need a strategy. We need a national cyber security strategy. Another key tax will be the sorry. Uh, key tax will be. Uh, rigorous detection blocking of cyber threats. Elevate a cybersecurity response system. A systematic management on vulnerabilities, one number. Number two will be ascendant detection blocking. Number three will be expand information security. Uh, and another one will be a student public private cooperation. And another one is national one-stop response. And another one, we have a consumer-oriented digital security capacity. For that, we need a support safe contactless digital transformation of business, like securing the consulting information of a digital transformation, sec securing of software development and supply chain, customized support, and then remote security vulnerability check E notification services, take a contactless on-demand services. Another one will be a build a best for the next generation conference security, like building a conference security response system, build a conference security processes, like a guideline or a stand model or authentication evaluation. Number two will be a standard response to the conference security incidents, uh, reform of conference security system, enhance cloud, 5G, data infrastructure, and build the best of next generation quantum cryptography. Another one is standard the response to your new security threats and AI-based response. As I have already told that there are lots of new technology emerging, like AI, metaverse, NFT, and all that. For that, we have to extend the response to your new security threats, like proactive detection and response of the ransomware, a block dismissing of the phone numbers, and build an intelligent information security platform to enhance security threat analysis capacity, uh, disclose security threat training data. So for all that, we need a cumulative part of, we, we need a the national cybersecurity story. And then another one is secure core tech, technological capacity in a digital security, to develop a core technology in a contactless digital security uh, reinforce the R&D, the research and development of the contactless digital security data protection system, a secure status technology for the next generation conversion security, like an infrastructure protection technology, artificial intelligence based intelligence security, and then enhance the cyber security technological competitiveness. Another one, standing support for a growth of the information security industry. For the foster of the, foster of the information security industry, we have to cultivate the next generation physical security industry, formatting video, uh, developing a biometric technology, intelligent digital pla physical security platform, support the growth of leading digital security companies like AI or contact like security te technologies and increase the cybersecurity investment in a policy measures, uh, extending the in institutional base and so on. And another one is foster innovative digital security talent and reform of laws and legislation. This is the main thing. We have to go for a policy. We have to reform laws and institutions. Uh, there's lots of, there will be a lots of 
uh, laws and institutions related to cyber safety, but we have to make it a fine national cyber safety strategy for extending the digital conference security education. We have to include an in education in a specialized college or information security specialized college, a professional area of digital conference, and then build an online training platform for us online cybersecurity response training platform system to pressure digital security, reform laws related to the information security and advanced cyber response capacity. And expected outcomes maybe, there may be the current system, reported base, verify IP addresses, centric, and then in, improve. Threat detection, incident response, private sector capacity, convenience security, information security, big data, first of business and not your talent. And lastly, what I have to say that ushering, ushering in a safe and reliable digital area, the national strategy for cybersecurity in the digital age will support us in realizing a successful digital new deal and leading the world in cybersecurity. So we have to make national cyber national strategy for cybersecurity in this digital age. Thank you very much. Well, thank you very much for your presentation. Are there any questions or comments? Milan, no. Uh, there's, uh, there's just some, you know, comments required from your end. Uh, is there any, you know, uh, policies uh, you people have uh, adopted and make for you, the country, uh, for the uh, digital cyber security attack and uh, uh, you can provide uh, uh, the solution to the university or the, the colleges if you have any case studies related to them uh, yeah actually actually we in 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 nepal we didn't have a uh, cyber security policy uh, recently i'm also one of the member of the uh, drafting committee for a cyber security bill which is uh, which is uh, going to the parliament and it's on an approval process. I've, okay. And on that, uh, we have also mentioned some kind of uh, education, awareness education, cybersecurity education awareness for a college level. We are also including the curriculum for a cybersecurity uh, studies for a uh, younger, from a younger age, like a elementary school or something like that in a high school or college where we're planning to include a curriculum. Okay. Uh, until now, we don't have a cybersecurity uh, laws or cyber uh, cybersecurity uh, bill. It's on a approval, on a process of approval. And number two, we have electronic transaction act, which does not cover everything. So we are planning to make it curriculum. We have to we have to make it awareness for a for, from the beginning of the elementary school. Yeah, that's all, sir. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, any other questions or comments? Hmm. Uh, okay. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Nepali. Yeah, for providing please. the uh, presentation. So I, I received a message from Lenon Chang, post presenter, that he has difficulty getting on the internet and he only have a mobile phone. So he seems he cannot connect to the the session again. So I think <laughs> do you have any uh, other comments or discussion throughout the this uh, 
So this session, including other presentation. Yes. So if you have any 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 you know topics uh, related to upcoming uh, scenario, we can discuss. Uh, and uh, already Jemmy has highlighted about uh, you know their uh, the upcoming uh, you know uh, <clears throat> uh, details about uh, the educations uh, and other platforms. They have already shared the uh, you know uh, the details about the. Um, a resource is available for the academic uh, uh, scenario and uh, the website is available on academic.apnic.net and so anyone have the, any comments and any questions uh, <clears throat> related to them uh, Jamie is also available here due to one presenter uh, lemon is uh, has uh, some difficulties to getting the internet so we have the time 10 to 15 minutes mm -hmm. i guess one other thing that i could mention on the apnic uh, academy and training resources is uh, the information that we produce uh, we are releasing that under creative commons um, so if anybody is interested in reusing some of our material and slides um, you're, you're free to do so. Uh, if you ask permission, we can give you the original PowerPoint slides. Um, I think under the Creative Commons license that we're using, you just have to give us attribution um, that you know the material that you're using was originally created by APNIC. Um, but you know, for for education institutions and for reuse of the material, uh, please reach out to us. You know, it's a, a lot easier to use material that is being offered than to create your own. So um, yeah, please please do reach out. I think I put training at apnic.net. I'll, I'll mention it again in the chat message here as well. But uh, it's it's by no means uh, a very uh, commercial uh, locked license. It's uh, we're, we're trying to be very open and have this information used to make the internet as a whole uh, more secure and to, to educate more people in internet and routing technologies as well. So, so as uh, some of the researcher is online, I know. So, if you want to have any 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 information regarding, and uh, you want to get the, some basic knowledge about the you know uh, the IP configurations and uh, VPN, any any platforms uh, uh, related to security, uh, just visit the uh, APNIC uh, website, and you can get the a lot of details. Uh, related to IPv6 basics address, cyber security, internet uh, res uh, no, resources, uh, routing algorithm. So everything is available there. And uh, uh, since uh, I am regularly, you know, um, visited the resources for the teaching and research purpose. So uh, all the researchers uh, who have joined these sessions uh, kindly, you know, uh, try to visit you. You can get, uh, you know, actual uh, real time scenarios uh, resources over there. Right, uh, Jimmy, I think uh, uh, this is uh, really, really great for uh, all the researchers who wants to do the research in this way. Okay, so it's uh, the other expected, but I'd like to conclude the, mm -hmm. this time to uh, our safety debugging group session. Thank you very much for your great presentation and uh, participants who uh, joined this session and discussed with us. Uh, I hope we can meet next time in person. I'm, I'm not sure, but I hope I can have a similar presentation session next time. Also, thank you very much for joining. Uh, see you in next IPA meeting. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Yoshiaki san. Um, one other thing, I may reach out to Lennon and see if he can maybe do a recording of his presentation. Oh. Um, APAN is trying to put all of these session recordings up on YouTube um, for people who can't watch it live. So we may be able to get uh, Lennon to do a, a separate recording and put it up onto YouTube as well. So for everybody, uh, please check the uh, the APAN YouTube channel. Um, if uh, 
the, the video can be put up later, um, maybe give it a, a week or two, but uh, we should be able to get that up. Um, let me yeah. just grab the, uh, the, the YouTube channel link here. There it is there in the, uh, in the chat and I'll put it into the Whova chat as well. So that's where you can see um, past uh, APAN session recordings as well. Yeah, thank you very much. That's great. That's great. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye-bye. Namaste. Bye-bye.